Hello guys and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. So today I want to teach you guys three mental skills in order to improve your mental strengths in sports or like most of my subscribers in badminton on court. I'm planning to start with this video today, a mental strengths video series where I will teach you guys different kind of skills in order to train your mental strengths, some mental skills you can do daily, some exercises which I would show you guys in order to improve your mental strengths on court or in any kind of sport basically. I already talked about making this mental strength thing a video series on Instagram but let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to continue this mental strengths video series you can like this video if you like this kind of video so that i know if i should continue it or not with that being said let's just start with the video many people believe that mental toughness can't be trained or that you are from being born a mental strong person they are mental weak and mental strong persons i believed that myself in the past too but actually it's not true like at the beginning i was really mentally weak i used to be angry at myself when i did stupid mistakes kind of even throw away games because i was so mentally weak but since an event which happened where my mother told me something to encourage myself since then i became a mental strong person so i can definitely say that Yes, even if you're mentally weak, you can become a mental strong person. There are different ways to become a mental strong person. You can train your mentality. For example, with the first mental skill I want to show you guys today, which is visualization. Now, what do I mean by visualization? By visualization, I mean that you have to visualize in your head a specific goal. It shouldn't be a goal which is easy to reach. Also not necessarily a goal which is impossible to reach, but a goal which is hard to reach. You have to have a specific goal. Like for example, I want to become my country's number one player or become the best player in my district if you always lost first round. Something like that. You have to have a clear goal in your mind. Many people are too vague about it. They are just like, oh, I just want to become a better player. My goal is that I win one game against this opponent, that I win one round in a tournament and so on. They don't have a clear goal. You have to be very specific when you are visualizing something. So be very specific, pick a hard goal in order to strengthen your mind. Because if you have a goal in your head that already gives you motivation to do it. So don't be too vague and have a specific goal. So the second mental skill I want to teach you guys is the presence. I want you guys to listen to your five senses. The sight, the hearing, the smelling, the taste and the touch. Now you're wondering why is it important to be aware of your presence and listening to your five senses for your mental strengths. The reason why it's important is because of the biggest opponent in sport, which is fear. Now you may be still wondering, well, okay, good to know that fear is the biggest opponent in sports. But why do I want to do this stuff? That's because fear cannot exist in the present moment. Now, unless you are facing a physical danger, of course. Like, I don't know, having to evade a car or so on. Otherwise, it crashes you. But other than that, fear cannot exist in the present moment. Being aware of that already makes you feel mentally safer. Coming to the next and last mental skill I want to show you guys today, which is my favorite mental skill, and it is the mantra. By mantra, I mean sentences or just words you can repeat to yourself every day which have a meaning to you. Something that means something to you. Like, for example, I never give up. I always work harder than anyone else. Repeating sentences like this every day will make you a mental strong person. You have to find a sentence for yourself which you believe in, 
or if you don't believe in that sentence, you want to find a sentence which you want to believe to in the future. Like, if you tend to give up easily, then maybe the sentence, I never give up, makes you a more mental strong person because if you repeat that sentence every day to yourself, you repeat it that often that you start believing in it yourself. And that way you already are programmed to never give up in the match, you know? Like if things are going bad, you, you can repeat in your head, I never give up, I never give up and get ready, you know? That already pushes your mentality. So like I said, you want to find a word or sentence that means something to you so that you can compete at your best at a tournament. Or you want to find a sentence which you want to become. Or basically you just choose a sentence which you think is fitting to you, which attribute you want to have. Like I said, it can be many sentences or words. Just choose one of them which has a meaning to you or a word and use it as your mantra because if you are on court, for example, and things are looking bad, if you have the mentality, like for example, I work harder than anyone else, then you believe that you deserve the victory, you know? You push harder, you give it your all because you worked hard towards your goal. I want you guys to repeat your mantra you chose every single day, multiple times, so that it gets stuck in your head, that you truly believe in it. That's very important. Now I have a lot of more mental skills to teach you guys and more tips and tricks, but I want to keep those mental strengths videos as short as possible so that I don't spam you with too much information so that you can concentrate on what I said, learn something of it and hopefully soon you will be a mental stronger person on court or in any other sport you do or just even in life. Becoming a mental strong person in life general helps. Is it in a job or whatever? Being mental strong never hurts. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I really appreciate if you would do that. It helps out my channel and supports my work. And with that being said, see you guys in the next video.